Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyavaru and in today's session I'm going to talk about Algebra. I'm going to take up a few past year questions and I'm going to teach you the tricks through which you can solve them easily. If you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to join our live classes, live online classes which are conducted in complete English medium, then you can call upon the numbers which are given on your screen. As you can see, I'm speaking in complete English medium. This is because a lot of our students from South India, a lot of our students from Northeast India are not very well versed with Hindi. So that's why we record complete English medium videos for our students because everybody can then join us. Everybody can then make full benefit of our teaching. So let's get started. Let's look at the first question which has appeared in the past. And the question on your screen is a square plus b square is equal to 5ab. You have to find out the value of a square upon b square plus b square upon a square. That is the expression which we have to work with. So let's have a look at it. a square upon b square, a square upon b square plus b square upon a square. So now what needs to be done? Students, of course, we'll have to take the LCM. We'll have to take the LCM. So now the LCM is going to be what? The LCM is going to be a square b square and then in the numerator of course what will happen it will become a raised to power 4 because this a square which is there in the LCM it is going to get multiplied with this a square and the powers will get added it will become a raised to power 4. Similarly students this b square which is there in the denominator this will get multiplied with this b square which is there in the numerator the powers will get added and it will become b raised to power 4. I've done a very simple thing. I've simply taken the LCM and I've just added these two fractions. These are two fractions. I've just added them. But now that we have added them, students, we have a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 in the numerator. But we have the value of only a square plus b square we have to find out the value of a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4. So let's work with this particular thing which has been given to us, the value which has been given to us. a square plus b square is equal to 5ab. So now we will square both the sides because by squaring both the sides, the power will become 4. Students, the power will become 4. So now I'm squaring both the sides. So what will it be? a square plus b square raised to power 2 that means squaring both the sides and on the right hand side again the same operation will be performed squaring both the sides so now this is what a plus b whole square you know a plus b whole square is what a square plus b square plus 2ab now when we expand it it will become a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 plus 2a square b square and on the right hand side what will it turn out to be it will turn out to be 25 a square b square sure very simply a plus b whole square that is we have that's all we have done now a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 is uh, there on the left hand side 2 a square b square and this 25 a square b square they are similar terms so on the right hand side we will be getting 23 a square b square when this 2 a square b square moves to the right hand side gets subtracted we are left with 23 a square b square so students the value now let's have a look at it the value of a4 plus b4 is what it is equal to 23 a square b square now we will put the value now we will put this value of a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 in this expression so what will it turn out to be the numerator will turn out to be the numerator will turn out to be 23 a square b square and what do we have in the denominator students in the denominator we have a similar expression a square b square so now a square b square they will cancel each other out they will cancel each other out we are left with 23 the answer is option b 23 don't get confused Option C is minus 23. The answer is only 23 as we have just 
calculated an interesting question now let's look at the next question and if you want students if you want more such questions from my side if you want to want me to make more such videos of high level questions then you have to request for that in the comment box i expect that much from you and do not forget to like this video and uh, share it with your friends that's how we get motivated that's how we get motivated to bring more and more videos for your benefit okay let's see a plus b plus c is equal to 0 we have to find out the value of a square plus b square plus c square upon a square minus bc so students look at this expression we have to find the value of this expression but we do not have but we do not have a square plus b square plus c square we only have the value of a plus b plus c so now somehow we will have to arrive at this expression we will have to find out the value of a square plus b square plus c square now let's see how we are going to do that we have been given a plus b plus c is equal to zero sure so students b plus c b plus c is equal to minus a very simply i have just shifted a to the other side so a will become minus a now i'm going to square both the sides why am i squaring because i want the power 2 i want the power 2 so i have to square both the sides so when i square both the sides b plus c whole square and on the right hand side i have minus a square so b plus c whole square b square plus c square plus 2bc sure minus a square so it's minus a square will give me what it will give me a square sure because the square of a negative value the square of a negative value gives you a positive value all of us know that so i have b square plus c square plus 2bc is equal to a square now i have to arrive at this value students look at it carefully a square plus b square plus c square so what will i have to do i will have to add a square to both sides i will add this a square to both the sides why am i adding a square to both the sides so that i can get this value so now when i do that i have a square plus b square plus c square plus 2bc sure a square has been added to both the sides so when i add it to right hand side it becomes 2a square i hope you have followed that now it becomes 2a square now i have a square plus b square plus c square so i simplify it i distill its value i have come up with its value and uh, 2bc will go to the other side so it will be 2a square minus 2bc sure 2a square minus 2bc we are going to use this value we are going to use this value we are going to use this value and this particular expression so what was the original expression what uh, was that students it was a square plus b square plus c square sure divided by a square minus bc now you know the value of a square plus b square plus c square is what 2 a square minus 2 bc so 2 a square minus 2 bc it can be written as i take 2 common students i take 2 common so it will be written as 2 a square minus bc very simple i've just taken 2 common done nothing fantastic it will be divided by what it will be divided by in the denominator we have a square minus bc now you know why i have taken 2 as the common factor because the moment i take 2 as the common factor the expressions become similar a square minus bc is there in the numerator it is there in the denominator they cancel each other they cancel each other and what we are left with is 2 so the final answer is 2 and option c students option c that is our answer i hope you have understood and enjoyed whatever i've taught you so make sure you call upon the numbers which are given on your screen if you want to join our live classes and keep sharing our videos god bless you thank you so much